In a ground-shattering announcement, NASA disclosed that Voyager 1 has just made an impossible discovery. The age-long spacecraft has left an indelible mark on cosmic exploration with its breathtaking journey through our solar system and interstellar space for the past five decades. However, now nearing the end of its life, this probe has achieved the impossible, forever etching its name in the cosmic sands of time. What impossible discovery has Voyager 1 made? How many years does this revolutionary spacecraft have left? And what new achievements is NASA expecting before it finally shuts down? Join us in this video as NASA warns that Voyager 1 has made an impossible discovery before shutting it down. If there's one space mission that has left an indelible mark in the sands of space-time, it's Voyager. Launched on September 5, 1977, with the sole purpose of exploring our solar system, the Voyager probes exceeded all expectations. Voyager 1's incredible voyage has been a joy to NASA and the scientific community, bringing back a wealth of data about our cosmic environment. Five decades after its monumental launch, the Voyager mission remains the longest-running mission by any space agency in the world. It's a testament to the ingenuity and technological genius employed in its creation. Despite initial predictions pegging its lifespan at only five years, Voyager 1 and 2 have surpassed all expectations. Voyager 1 and 2 employed state-of-the-art technology, including scientific instruments like the ultraviolet spectrometer, cosmic ray system, magnetometer, imaging science subsystem, high-gain antenna, and stabilization gyroscopes. These instruments enabled the probes to study various entities in space, from planets and stars to magnetic fields and radiation. NASA also included a golden record containing vital data about humanity on Voyager 1, serving as a message to any extraterrestrial beings it might encounter. This mission required the collaboration of several creative minds, including aerospace engineer Gary Flandro, whose calculations and trajectory planning were crucial to Voyager 1's success. Flandro's exceptional contributions led to the successful execution of the Voyager missions, especially Voyager 1's impressive overtaking of its sister probe. By identifying a rare planetary alignment phenomenon, Flandro enabled Voyager 1 to utilize a gravitational assist, significantly reducing its travel time and fuel consumption. Despite uncertainties, NASA's decision to launch two probes instead of one paid off. Voyager 1 targeted Jupiter and Saturn, while Voyager 2 aimed for Uranus and Neptune, unlocking secrets beyond imagination. By February 17, 1998, Voyager 2 had become the farthest man-made space object from Earth, and its journey continues to this day. The longevity of Voyager's mission is remarkable, considering it has never undergone repairs and is still in constant communication with NASA. This is due to its sophisticated radio communication system, which utilizes NASA's deep space network to transmit and receive signals over vast distances in space. However, recent data from Voyager 1 has raised concerns among experts, suggesting potential issues with the probe. Despite these challenges, Voyager's legacy as a pioneer in space exploration remains unparalleled, with its discoveries continuing to inspire and captivate scientists and enthusiasts alike. Throwing NASA scientists into panic, it wasn't long before rumors of extraterrestrial involvement began to spread across the board. As these data were too out of the normal, some conspiracy theorists suggested that some entity may have tampered with the probe, causing it to misbehave and send nonsense data. Others suggested that the funky data sent back by Voyager may actually be encoded messages from an alien civilization. The theory of aliens intercepting Voyager 1 wasn't too far-fetched. NASA had anticipated this while manufacturing the Voyager probes, which is why it went through the trouble of installing the gold-plated information disks to tell a tale about humanity to any intelligent life out there. Then again, jumping to conclusions wasn't very logical, because apart from the weird and confusing data, there was no other proof that aliens were behind this. However, alien conspiracy theories began to spread once more within the scientific community when the Allen Telescope Array, ATA, collected strange data from Voyager 1 as well. This refurbished radio observatory in California plays the impressive role of searching for extraterrestrial life. So, you can imagine the enigma when it picked up odd signals from Voyager 1 using 20 of its 42-dish antennas. The telescope recorded about 15 minutes of data, which was stored on a disk. The team behind the discovery had this to say, 
the detection of Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object, with the refurbished Allen Telescope Array is an excellent display of the telescope's capabilities and strengths and a representation of the outstanding hard work put in by the ATA team since the start of the refurbishment program in 2019. Yet, the team failed to divulge any serious details about the data they collected or their take on the controversy at hand. NASA, however, didn't stop investigating the issue until they arrived at a viable conclusion. It turned out that aliens weren't involved in the matter at all. Instead, a simple technical glitch caused the whole issue. Although the agency wasn't sure when the glitch began, it had something to do with the flight data system FDS. The FDS, responsible for gathering data from the spacecraft's many scientific instruments and sending this data back to Earth via the telemetry modulation unit, seemed to have malfunctioned. NASA disclosed that the instrument was transmitting a repeated sequence of zeros and ones unlike anything ever seen. Even after turning off this system and turning it back on to reset it, the problem still persisted. It was later discovered that the issue was with Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AC, tasked with keeping the Voyager's antenna pointed to Earth. This complex piece of machinery helps make the transmission of data correct. However, it turned out a small networking problem had arisen as the AAC was sending telemetry data to the wrong computer. The computer involved in this perplexing turn of events had failed some time ago, and so any data sent in by the AAC got corrupted immediately. It was this corrupted data that ended up on the scientists' table at NASA, making them scratch their heads. All NASA had to do next was issue a command to Voyager, telling it to send data through the right computer. Although the mystery behind this issue seems to have been solved, other questions still remain. For one, many members of the scientific community are asking questions like why did the probe suddenly decide to switch computers? Was it just random, or did some external force or entity make it do so? Once again, fingers are pointing to the possible involvement of intelligent life forms in this mind-boggling mystery. NASA has admitted that there may be an underlying issue they still have to solve as the puzzle is not yet complete. You see, if this was just another random fault, NASA's built-in fault detection systems would have been triggered. However, for the fact that everything read to be normal, chances are high that Voyager 1 decided to reroute its data control and transfer on command. If so, who gave the command and why? It would shock you to know that more mind-boggling signals were detected when Voyager entered interstellar space. Interstellar space, the vast cosmic wonderland outside of our solar system, has always intrigued scientists. However, nothing or no one could venture into this densely enigmatic region of the cosmos because we didn't have sufficient technical capacity for it. Filled with various forms of matter and energy such as neutrinos and photons, interstellar space or the space between star systems is much more sophisticated than what we see within our solar system. But then, this region of space holds the highest potential for finding alien life. Imagine finding an alien spaceship or an isolated extraterrestrial settlement completely kept away from humankind. So far, our limited technology has limited our physical search for extraterrestrials to the confines of our solar system. Many astronomers propose that if we can somehow get into interstellar space, we may discover something shocking beyond our wildest imaginations. And so, you can imagine the joy and enthusiasm in the scientific community when Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space on August 25, 2012, ushering humanity into a new realm of cosmic exploration. Scientists quickly began to brace for an outpour of data when Voyager crossed the heliosphere. This fundamental solar bubble marks the end of our solar system and protects the solar system from the radiation from interstellar space. Beyond the heliosphere lies the alio sheath, and beyond this lies the interstellar medium where the two antagonizing forces of solar winds and interstellar radiation meet. Scientists knew as soon as Voyager 1 began its perplexing entry into the heliosphere that they were about to witness one of the most revolutionary sets of discoveries ever. Thanks to Voyager 1's primal transition through the heliosphere and interstellar medium, scientists finally understood the intricacies of these cosmic entities. Before this time, all the scientific community had were theories and assumptions. Voyager clarified many of these assumptions while opening our eyes to new stuff we never knew existed. It was a breathtaking moment for everyone involved in the Voyager project as scientists found themselves exploring the unknown world of interstellar space. 
Voyager 1 ultimately turned out to be the best gift the scientific community could ever ask for, as tons after tons of data kept pouring in. Scientists now have an idea of interstellar cosmic parameters like plasma density, magnetic field strength, cosmic ray intensity, and plasma waves. The high-energy cosmic rays detected by Voyager have shocked scientists as it was like nothing ever seen before. Scientists have confirmed an intense concentration of plasma particles in interstellar space, according to data recorded by Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument. The probe also made groundbreaking revelations about the magnetic field concentration in the region, as well as other intricacies about cosmic ray particles. Much of interstellar space is filled with high-energy cosmic particles expelled from supernovas and other cosmic cataclysms. Studying these paranormal entities would not only broaden our knowledge of the universe but also open us to new ideas for research and exploration. Currently, Voyager 1 is the only hope for scientists to study the mystifying cosmic ray particles, as the heliosphere and alio sheath deflect the majority of these particles. However, experts are worried about how long the probe can last in these uncharted territories. Interstellar space can be unforgivingly treacherous, especially considering the fact that it was never prepared for the voyage from the start. With the power output of the Voyager probes diminishing by 4 watts per year, current estimates of Voyager's remaining lifespan sit at 5 to 10 years. However, it's still unknown if it will last that long, given the uncharted territory it's assumed to be in now. Scientists at NASA are doing their best to glean as much data as possible before Voyager 1 runs out of juice, as this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to explore interstellar space. Scientists have predicted that it's only a matter of time before the Voyagers get to the mysterious entity or cloud. This celestial body of comet-like entities is very intriguing and massive but is still an enigma to the scientific community. NASA predicts that the cloud may contain billions or trillions of objects interwoven together to form something truly breathtaking. From there on, there's no telling what other insane discoveries this probe will bring to the table. Researchers pray that the Voyager probes do not encounter any more malfunctions or mishaps before finally running out of fuel. Just so you know, Voyager 1 and 2 use a special kind of fuel known as hydrazine propellant. The simple concoction of hydrogen and nitrogen smells like diluted ammonia and is the basic fuel for the aircraft thrusters. Meanwhile, the other primary fuel source, plutonium, also serves as the primary electric source for powering the sensors and instruments. NASA built a complex engine for converting the radioactive isotope plutonium into electricity. These engines, known as radioisotope thermoelectric generators, feed off the heat generated by this isotope as it decays, converting it to power. Voyager 1 has enough hydrazine to keep running for the next 15 years. However, not much can be said about its plutonium reserves. Experts speculate that reserves may run out in the next five years, after which Voyager 1 would aimlessly wander through space to meet a sad demise. With the probe nearing the end of its days, it's only ideal to recap its enigmatic wonders and discoveries. Starting from the late 1970s when it first flew by Jupiter, Voyager 1's flyby of Jupiter revealed several shocking details about the planet that scientists had earlier not known, such as the thin ring around the planet and two new moons, Thab and Metis. By November 12, 1980, Voyager 1 flew by Saturn, unveiling Saturn's epic moon Titan as well as the incredulous ring surrounding the planet. Voyager 1 unmasked the complex structure and dynamics of Saturn's rings, allowing scientists to see the gaps, kinks, waves, and other intricacies in these rings. Voyager 1 also revealed a new ring on Saturn, the G-ring, which was so small it couldn't be seen from Earth. It also uncovered other interesting moons on the planet, including Prometheus, Pandora, and Epimetheus. Other impossible discoveries made by Voyager 1 during its Saturn voyage include the magnetic fields and magnetosphere of the planet, as well as auroras and plasma particles. After Saturn, Voyager 1 navigated its way to Uranus, unveiling its complex surfaces and previously unseen moons. The various instruments on the probe also studied the extensive ring system around the planet, leaving scientists dumbfounded. From Uranus, Voyager 1 navigated its way to the edge of our solar system, scanning the enigmatic entities like Neptune, the Kuiper Belt, and the billions of dwarf planets in our solar boundary. Voyager 1 also gave humanity a once-in-a-lifetime view from deep space, the image famously named the pale blue dot, 
opening our eyes to the unimaginable greatness that lies beyond our tiny solar system. In all, Voyager 1 has played a monumental role in our scientific quest so far to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Now, the only instruments left in Voyager 1 to do its scientific research work are the magnetometers, low-energy charge particle instrument, and the plasma measuring instrument. If these can hold out for another 5 to 10 years, we may just learn several shocking things about interstellar space that we never knew existed. Enthusiastic members of the scientific community have predicted that in the next 160,000 years, Voyager 1 will reach Proxima Centauri b, our nearby cosmic star system rumored to contain aliens. Tales of aliens on Proxima Centauri have long sent shockwaves through the scientific community, as many agree that this mysterious star system seems habitable. Moreover, many controversial tales of alien abductees have pointed at the enigmatic star system as the home base for the strange beings that captured them. Although scientists have mapped out several facts, theories, and predictions about this wonder star system, the truth remains unknown until we can send a live investigator like the Voyager probe to explore the zone in real time. Humanity can only keep its hands crossed and hope that Voyager 1 gives us a few more years of groundbreaking discoveries before finally giving up the ghost. Even if it doesn't, it will forever be remembered as the most phenomenal spacecraft ever made by man.